I'm going to do a quick tutorial of the physics classroom match that graph activity. So again, you'll log into your account to get there and it should be assigned um, because I'm going through as a teacher. Basically, I'm going to go to these concept builders. Um, it will be under kinematics. Again, you should have a direct click to that, but match that graph. Hey, let's go ahead and launch that. Sure, I acknowledge that you've got cookies. Why not? Make this bigger. Now, when you log in, remember, you should have your name and your email down here like this. If not, it means it won't save that progress that you make with it. So we're going to go ahead and start like that. This apprentice, six points. This, eight points. This, ten points. For your own understanding and future test quizzes and other things, I would strongly recommend you do this, the, one of these two levels. Um, again, read the background and it'll tell you a little bit about that. So I'm going to do a wizard level. And essentially what we're going to do here, the given graph is on the left. In either of these two levels, it could be either position time or velocity time. That's fantastic. Um, and then you have to click through here and choose which of these represent the, the matching one to this graph. So in the video that I'm gonna um, that you should be watching, which is the Ed Puzzle about those types of graphs and some of the mathematics behind it, what we can see here is that this position starts out positive and it goes down toward zero. Because the slope is negative, that tells us we have a negative velocity. The slope of a position time graph gives us the value for velocity. So this doesn't show a change in velocity, it just shows a constant positive velocity. So negative slope, negative velocity, changing slope, changing velocity. Since the slope gets less and less steep, the velocity approaches zero. So it should have a negative velocity at first, negative still, but not as negative here, and then almost zero down here, which means I'm looking for a velocity time graph that starts out negative and increases up towards zero, and this is definitely not it. So this one does show an increasing velocity, but it shows it increasing starting from zero and getting larger. So that would be a graph where the position graph would look like this, curving upwards. This is something where we have a positive velocity and it goes down towards zero. And this would indicate that the velocity is getting, again, it's getting smaller, but it's going to approach a slope of zero over here. Well, this does approach a zero, but it approaches from a negative slope. So this velocity graph would look something like this curve, what I'm doing here with my arrow. So that doesn't match. Constant velocity doesn't agree with this. Let me think. This one would start out with zero velocity and end with a negative velocity. That's not true here. That's the opposite of what this is. This starts out with a negative velocity and ends at a zero velocity, and that does agree with what that is. So I'm going to check that answer, and that's okay. Now remember, there's ways you can go to, to get some help. If you click on something like this, this will tell you about the basic idea, about this particular question if you want to look at it, how to think about the question, and then if you need to go to the physics classroom for parts, meaning in the shape of those types of things, that'll help out. So hopefully this helps you out, um, and there's a lot of learning with this particular activity. I think it's a really good one. As always, if you get stuck, you can send me a remind message, and I'll try to help out.